Hello everyone, it's Jeff. It's uh, Wednesday morning as I make this video. I probably won't be posting this for a little while. I'm trying to stockpile a little bit of content before I have to go back to work and I'm too busy or don't have time to make videos. So, hello from Wednesday morning. <laughs> uh, hey you, don't scratch that record. This was another uh, new shirt that my wife bought for me. I've got several because she just likes to do that sort of thing for me because I'm a vinyl lover, so I have several different vinyl shirts to show in the future. A um, couple uh, things before I get to the topic of this video. First, I want to uh, thank Andy from Andy's Vinyl Den for giving me a shout out in one of his videos. Uh, my subscribers doubled overnight, literally doubled. So. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. I will definitely do my best to pay it forward and be an active member in the vinyl community in good standing. Uh, the other thing uh, that I quickly wanted to say, because this video isn't about um, new finds or new listens, except for the Seeger album that I showed in my last video. I uh, played it this morning. And it sounded great. It just had some background noise a little. I mean, it was a little crackly, but for the most part, there were no scratches or skips. And it played just fine. So, uh, that's a, it's, like I said, it's another great album. It's a shame that it's so hard to find. And for those of you who are still looking for it like I was, just keep hope alive. Someday it will come your way. Uh, the topic for this video, and I don't think I've seen this in any other videos before. I've, I've seen this topic on like Facebook, some of the vinyl groups that I'm in there, but, um, record albums are kind of storehouses for things beyond the records that they're meant to hold sometimes. Um, and this video is about, I've got four examples here of albums that I bought where I found kind of not really odd things or weird things, but just things that didn't necessarily belong with the album or was a little bit strange that they were there. Um, so for example, I'll give you an example. I bought this copy of Close to the Edge by Yes at Half Price Books. And when I took the record out, let's see if I can get it out of here without tearing it because it just slid to the back. When I took the record out, I found this concert review from the Chicago Sun-Times the Monday, September 25th, 1972 edition. And yes, played at the Airy Crown Theater in Chicago. I know Chicagoans will recognize that name. And the opening act was the Eagles. And I can't think of two more different sounding bands than yes and the Eagles touring together. But uh, it, it just seemed... Uh, kind of strange, but it was also kind of cool to read a concert review of the Close to the Edge tour from Yes in 72. Apparently they played the entire album front to back. So I'm, I'm sure that had to be a great show because Close to the Edge is a great Yes album. But uh, uh, coming from such a public place as a half price books, I'm surprised that something like this didn't get taken out or or didn't get found or maybe it did I don't know but I just thought it was kind of interesting it's kind of like a little time capsule to connect you to the the era when this album was released so that's kind of a what I'm talking about here I mean I'm I've read on like I said on other vinyl groups that I'm on you know people have found besides you know the usual pot paraphernalia, seeds, whatever, in the gatefolds. I mean, people have found letters inside their albums. People have found money. 
just things that you wouldn't think you would ever find inside an album cover. Um, these next two came from a, an estate sale that I went to. I mentioned this in an earlier video. Greatest sale I've ever been to thus far. And everything was a dollar, no matter what it was, whether it was a double album, triple album, everything was a dollar. And I know you know, you record collectors out there, that when you're in a room full of boxes of records and people that are hungry to get them for such a cheap price, you have to be fast and you, you have to be aggressive, let's just say. Not mean, not disrespectful, but you have to stay on your ground and, and make sure that no one's going to push you around or push you out. That being said, uh, stuff that I saw that I even remotely wanted, I didn't question, I just grabbed. So one thing that I just grabbed without looking at it was this copy of Houses of the Holy. Um, inside, it has the paper band, which isn't that unusual. I mean, this came wrapped around the album when it was originally sold, I, I guess. It's torn, but it's, it's still there. <clears throat> but, like I said, I just grabbed it. I didn't look at anything. I figured for the price, how could I go wrong? And when I opened the gatefold, I found what I thought was the album. So when I took it out, I was not impressed at all. I don't know if any of this is going to show, but this album is pretty well beat to hell. It's got scratches all over it. It's got scuffs all over it. It's got a it's got one very deep scratch that you can I don't know if this will show. It's a little dark in here today. Sorry if this isn't showing, but I can feel this scratch with my finger. So that basically makes this album useless. I mean, it's it's certainly not playable in this condition. And I was disappointed until I looked inside the actual pocket. The, 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 the original album was stuck inside the gatefold. When I looked inside the pocket, I found the original album sleeve is, is in there, the cardboard one. And I found... A second copy of the album turn it the right way brand spanking new so I don't know if this is the replacement or if this is the original I don't know what the story was but this album came with two copies of the same record even though one of them is like I said beat up and, and basically unplayable I keep it in there anyway just for the for the oddity of it and, and for the remembrance of when I got this because it just seemed strange to me. Uh, in that same sale, I also got a copy. I'll have to take this. I don't know if this will show. This is the White Album. It's a... It's not an original, it's an Apple label white album, but I mean, it's, you've got the embossed, the Beatles, but it, there's no numbering on it. Uh, best I can figure is probably an early 70s repressing. I mean, I can just see it's an Apple label. The, the records themselves were fine. Um, the seam, like this top seam is almost completely split. It's got uh you know it still has that slightly moldy smell to it because a lot of these records were exposed to water and there were many many beatles albums where they were just all stuck together and you try to push them apart a little bit and the cardboard was just ripping off one or the other and it was heartbreaking but this wasn't water damaged uh, when I opened the gatefold, the four headshot pictures of the Beatles were there. 
And for those of you White Album aficionados know that it also came with a poster. But instead of the photo collage poster that originally came with this album, let's see if I can un see if I can unfold this without tearing it because somebody taped it to their wall and the tape is still sticking to the corners. I got this poster instead of what? The Bay City Rollers? No. Just kidding. It's the Beatles, but it's not the original White Album poster. More than likely, this came out of a magazine. It's very thin paper. It's very easily torn. So while I was while I was glad to get the White Album, that was an Apple label White Album. It's missing the poster, and someone put that in its place, so... Eh, I can't fault them for that, I guess. <clears throat> and... Uh, the last one that I pulled, just off the top of my head, I, there may be others in my collection, but these are... What I distinctly remember is I bought... This Pat Benatar album, Crimes of Passion. And... This was another case where it was cheap. I think this was like 50 cents. 50 cents or a dollar. It was at an estate sale. And again, I didn't look at the record. I just grabbed it and paid it and moved on. I mean, I like Pat Benatar. I got this more for my wife because she's a bigger Pat Benatar fan than I am. But when I looked inside, I found, of course, the Pat Benatar album. And, as an unexpected bonus, I got a very nice copy of Van Halen's Diver Down. And I, like I said, I didn't even know it was there. Couldn't, couldn't even feel it. And I, it was another thing that I just grabbed and went. And I got two albums for the price of one. So, of course... This has no cover. I, I don't have the cover for Diver Down, but at least I have the record, so there's that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was talking about. I thought this might make a good topic for uh, videos if people have stories of things that they've found in their albums over the years. Because uh, for some reason, some people just like to put things in there, whatever, and... Uh, when vinyl is king, you know, when you let someone borrow albums, the, the kids don't understand this. They, they don't hardly understand even what records are or why I like them so much. But when I try to tell them other things like this, they just look at me funny. But I know you guys in the VC will understand. So uh, this was the thing that I thought might be interesting, might promote a little bit of discussion. So... Uh, if anybody out there has, you know, stories of things they found in their records, uh, leave it in the comments if you want to, or make a video of your own showing us what you got. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it might be something fun. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to cut it short. We're almost at 14 minutes. And uh, I will be back soon again, hopefully. I know I keep saying that. I don't know why. I got to stop. I should just, when I say my goodbyes, I should just quit. I'm working on it. Uh, so, like I said, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. I love you all. And I will be talking to you all soon. Take care, everyone.